Mohoye, I'm here with Sensei Heiwa Nishioka, judo legend and friend of Bruce Lee, sharing some of his memories. Well, as far as Bruce is concerned, he was really a tough guy. He's really tough. A little cocky at times, but he had something to be cocky about. And uh, very, very quick, very fast. Um, as far as... Uh, the one-inch punch, he really did hit me with a one-inch punch right up to my chest. Actually bounced me up, up against the wall. I fell down to the ground. I was, I was in shock. I was surprised that he did that to me. Uh, but, I mean, I, I wasn't injured or anything. But still, the power that he had in his punch was uh, tremendous. Uh, power in his kicks. His kicks were explosive because he kind of figured out that if you touch down and then you kick, uh, it, it stops your momentum. And so what he would do is he would be kicking and making the impact as he's flying through the air. And then a split second before he kicked, his foot planted. So it was kind of uh, opposite and equal reaction. The ground was helping him to explode forward. The forward motion was going and that was... Uh, that made it possible for him to really kick hard. So that's about all I can tell you, right? Now. And how about on judo? Were you able to share any any judo with he him knew, to help enhance he knew his judo training? judo because he took judo from a guy named Chris Kato, who was a uh, instructor up in Seattle. And that's why he knew all of the techniques of judo. He knew what an osotagari was. He knew what an ippon seonage was. He would name them. And uh, he was quite good at the entries. I don't know uh, what he was like if you were to have held on to him. I do know this, that he wasn't good on groundwork. And if he had gone into groundwork, uh, he would have lost. In fact, uh, one, at one time I said to him, well, you know what, if we had a, a fight, if we came to a fight, I would just lay down. He said, what would you do if I just laid down? Because you know, I'll choke you. I'll kick an arm bar on you. I'll pin you down. And you won't be able to do anything. He said, I'll just walk away. But then he turned around and he said, but you better not get up. Mm -hmm. yeah. Although his top students, such huh? as Danny Nasanto and Richard Bastilla, are always saying that uh, part of his inspiration was for them to continue his work. So they do study grappling, judo, and Brazilian oh, yeah. jiu-jitsu as they, well. Yeah. Uh, those guys are dedicated martial artists. They're very good, too. Yeah. What did you feel you most learned from Bruce? Quickness. That there was always somebody that was very, very quick and that you would have to really be careful. You can't just be going out fighting anybody because he wasn't a very big man, but he was a very powerful man. Yeah. And if there is one lesson from your lifetime of martial arts that you'd want to pass on to young people, like my nephews who might watch this, what would you want to share with them? Well, that uh, the martial arts, uh, we should consider it as a martial way, not the martial arts, because arts uh, doesn't, doesn't convey, convey the same message as a uh, martial way, which is dull. You know, like in Judo, Aikido, Karate Do, Ken Do. Do means a, it's a way of expressing yourself, a way of learning about life, a way of understanding how much you can take. And the better you can take life uh, and all of its problems, uh, the better you survive. So that's, that's the thing I can tell you.